Plaid is an easy way for your application to talk to thousands of different banks while communicating with a single set of endpoints. And while you'd normally need a full stack application to use it, with a tool like Postman, you can see what it's like to work with the Plaid service without having to write any code. To get started, make sure you have accounts set up at the Plaid dashboard and postman.com and download and install the Postman desktop application. Then visit the Plaid to Postman collection page on GitHub and click on the Run in Postman button. This will load up a file containing all of Plaid's API calls into the Postman app. To start making calls, first open the Sandbox environment on the Environments panel, copy over the Client ID and Secret from your Plaid dashboard into the Current Values fields, click Save, and make sure the Sandbox environment is selected from the drop-down list. Next, you're going to take advantage of the Sandbox environment to simulate getting back a token from the link widget after a user has connected with their bank. Head on over to the Items Item Creation folder, find Create Item, and click Send. This will give us back a public token, which we now need to exchange for an access token. Run the Exchange Token call to perform this exchange. Thanks to some post response scripts that we run, the value of this access token is also saved in our environment variables, and now we have all the data we need to talk to the Plaid service. You can retrieve account and routing numbers, for example, by calling the Retrieve Auth endpoint. Or you can get information about your user, like their name or mailing address, by calling the Identity endpoint. To modify any request, visit the Body tab and edit the JSON as needed. Any value in double curly brackets is grabbed from the list of environment variables. You can refer to the reference documentation to see what arguments you can send with any specific call, and see sample data bodies by selecting curl from the drop-down menu on the right. If you run into errors talking to endpoints for certain products, these can often be fixed by adding that product to the product list in the item creation call, although some newer products might still be in beta or not yet fully supported in sandbox mode. If you're interested in using the Plaid API against real data in development or production, create a new environment in Postman. Change your ENV URL value to the domain you'll be talking to and copy over your secret from the appropriate environment from the Plaid dashboard. If you already have an access token that you're permitted to use, go ahead and copy that value into your environment as well and start making calls. Otherwise, you can generate your own access token by finding the link.html file in the Plaid Postman repo and copying it into a text file. Go back to Postman, select your new environment from the drop-down list, and call the create link token endpoint. Paste the value of that link token field into the your link token goes here part of the code. Run the page in a browser, Connect with your favorite bank using the link account button, then copy the public token from your JavaScript console into your environment variables. Run the exchange token call with this new public token, and now you have an access token that you can use to talk to a real bank. Obviously, at this point, you're working with real data, potentially from real customers, so be very careful with how you use these calls and handle these environment variables. This has been Plaid and Postman in three minutes. If you wish you could spend more time listening to my lovely voice or just want a better understanding of how Plaid or Postman works, make sure to check out the full tutorial, which will be linked in the description below as soon as it's available. Thanks for watching and have fun uh, postmanning.